breaking. Welcome to today's headlines. Come out in multitudes on Unabdekano's next court appearance. IPOB urges supporters. Come out in multitudes on Unabdekano's next court appearance. IPOB urges supporters. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read today's news. The pro Biafra secessionist group also stated that all schools in Southeast will receive a copy of the Biafran anthem to teach pupils and students. The indigenous people of Biafra has urged members and supporters to get prepared and exhibit solidarity with the group's leader, Unam Dekanu. When he appears in court on January 18, 2022. IPOP said this in a statement by its media and publicity secretary, Ima Powerful, on Wednesday. The Pro Biafra Secessionist Group also stated that all schools in Southeast will receive a copy of the Biafran Anthem to teach pupils and students. It went further to declare that every May 30 will be marked to celebrate the independence anniversary of Biafra, boasting that nothing will change their plans. The group reiterated that it shall charge its members to protest across the globe against the abduction of Kano in Kenya and his rendition to Nigeria, which has led to his detention with Nigerian secret police since June 2021. The statement reads, we are the global movement and family of the indigenous people of the Afra, ably led by Unam de Kanu. We wish to commend the Afran, friends of the Afra and lovers of the Afra freedom, for their resilience and efforts towards the actualization of the Afra independence. We want to declare the Nigerian government and its security agencies will have no peace of mind unless they release our leader, Mazi Unamdikanu, unconditionally because our God will torment them. Kanu is on a divine project and nobody will hold him and have peace of mind. The leadership of IPOB, headed by Mazi Chika Erosim, has given an order for all IPOB family across the world to activate the protest to show how anger towards the illegal abduction and extraordinary rendition of our leader from Kenya to Nigeria. To this end, we want to inform all Biafrans to get ready to solidarize with our leader as usual in his next court appearance scheduled for January 18th, 19th, and 28th. It is on record that the Kenyan government has openly confessed that kidnapping and extra rendition of our leader were unlawful and we must leverage on that confession and protest his abduction and rendition by the Nigerian government in collaboration with our allies.
Again, concerning the stoppage of reading of Nigerian national anthem in our schools, we want every school to start reading the Afra national anthem and soon every school is going to receive a copy of the Afra national anthem because the Afra is coming and nothing will stop it. And May 38th of every year will be celebrated as independence anniversary and nothing will stop that. Our leader Mazi Unamdi Kanu must be released. Nigeria cannot be releasing bandits and terrorists but keep freedom seekers behind bars perpetually. The pro Afra Secessionist Group also stated that all schools in Southeast will receive a copy of the Biafran Anthem to teach pupils and students. The indigenous people of Biafra has urged members and supporters to get prepared and exhibit solidarity with the group's leader, Unam Dekanu, when he appears in court on January 18, 2022. IPOP said this in a statement by its media and publicity secretary, Iba Powerful, on Wednesday. The Probi Afra Secessionist Group also stated that all schools in Southeast will receive a copy of the Biafran Anthem to teach pupils and students. To my dear listeners, finally we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you.